Hey y'all, so I am about to wash my hair and I just wanted to show you what I actually have in it. Um, well, this is my hair first. My curls look really, really nice. They're super springy and defined. My hair is very, very soft. I like how my hair looks. I love how, even though it's not elongated, it still looks really, really good. I think this combo looks very different from other cream wash and goes that I've tried because it's not like fluffy the way my curls look is just it's different i don't i don't know how to explain it it's super flaky because i have layers and layers and layers of product on my hair so let me show you what i used so this was supposed to be an experiment off screen i like to test my products and the combos before i bring it on screen so what i did um the first time i did my hair was I used the Part of My Fro Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. It's a weird name. Detangler Leave-In Conditioner, I guess, yeah. And I topped it, I like wet plopped. It didn't really do much, my hair was still pretty wet. Um, or dry plopped, I don't know. I had a microfiber towel on my hair for like half an hour because I wanted to dry it out a little bit. This says to use on damp or dry hair this is incredible on dry hair but i used it on damp to wet hair i had some good definition and i topped it with the do mousse def this is completely done there's nothing in here um the product combo looked incredible when it was wet when it dried it was still pretty nice but it was just like i don't know a little underwhelming it kind of looked like four or five day hair on day two so I was like, well, let me mess with the products a little bit and then I'll just refresh on top. So what I ended up doing was putting more of the curl enhancing cream on top and it defined my hair so well. On dry hair, I did not spray anything. And then I topped that again with the Myel Curl Defining Mousse. And then my hair has just been really pretty and like bouncy and defined like it just looks so good and it feels so good and I'm surprised that I did it on dry hair so I'm going to start this wash day all over use the same products except for the mousse stuff because it's empty and see if I can get these results the first time without having to do like five layers of product so yeah, it's really flaky and I'm pretty sure it's just the product only because my scalp feels fine. My scalp feels great. My scalp never feels good day five or six. And that's usually with gel, even my nicest gels like Camille Rose Curl Maker, Kinky Curly. Around day five or six, I need to wash my hair. I also have, where is it? The Pardon My Fro Hair Mask. And I'm going to be trying this in the shower so I'm going to pre-poo and cleanse off camera and then I will see you in the shower when I'm putting this in. So I realized that I didn't give a review for the deep conditioner at the end of the video. So I'm popping in now. But the mask was very, very nice. It was super softening, very easy to detangle. The texture was actually incredible. It was a very nice experience to use it. Um, I haven't seen the mask even on the company's website. I've only seen it at CVS. And similarly to the rest of the products, it smells like a lemon cleaning product. And for a deep conditioner in the hot steamy shower, it was a bit much. But the slip is incredible. If you can get your hands on the pillow pack, like two, three dollars, I actually think it's kind of worth using. Um, the scent is not fun, but... It was very, very, very nourishing on my hair.
Also, while I'm applying the leave-in, I just wanted to quickly talk about the brand, which is Pardon My Fro. Um, up until the point where I saw this product or this line in CVS, I had never heard of the brand. Um, when I looked them up, like their website, it looks like they started off as like a home decor apparel line. And I guess more recently they got into hair care. But I really don't see a lot of people talking about this brand, so... I'm just really excited to see it because it is a black owned brand. The packaging is gorgeous. There's like an like an impression on the side of like a woman with an afro. It's just beautiful, gorgeous packaging. And very honestly, when I bought the products, I was like, hey, if these don't work, at least I have new decor because they are actually beautiful. Popping in again, I took forever to do this wash day um, to style my hair. I had to work the product in a lot and work in very, very, very small sections. Um, as my hair started to dry, the product applied much better, but it took a lot to do my hair and I was very tired towards the end of it. So I'm almost done in the front. I'm gonna finish this side section and then charge my phone while I'm doing that. And then I'll come back to finish this section on camera because my phone's dying. Okay. So my hair is pretty much dry. It's like a little wet in here, but not much. 
I would say it's like 95% dry and it looks incredible. I'm really glad I redid this wash and go. Um, my hair is super defined and it's crunchy, kind of like a gel would be. And I'm just really impressed with how it looks. So we'll see how it looks in the morning and how long it lasts. I don't know if I'll have to refresh it in the morning, but I will be showing you guys how I refresh my hair in the morning. So just to give you a little 360. Hey y'all, it is day two. Um, I haven't taken off my bonnet yet, even though it's like later in the day. Um, I didn't want to like see my hair until I was actually ready to like do it. So I'm going to show you guys how I refresh in the morning. I don't know what's under here, so I don't know how much refreshing it needs. But I'm going to go over how I refresh my hair. Um, I did get a comment from someone who asked, so thank you so much for asking. I feel like sometimes I leave things out in my videos. Cause I'm not too sure how much like detail to give. I don't really know what everybody's interested in. So I always appreciate your comments when they relate to like why I do something or how I do something or like what parts of my regimen I don't usually show on camera. So yeah, when I refresh, I usually do one of a few things. If I have a product that has really good hold, I don't mind using a refresher spray. I'm gonna use this as a stand-in. Um, this specifically has water and the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In. I just recently started doing that. I know people have been doing that for a while, but this was like my first time trying a leave-in in water as a refresher spray, and it's really nice. It smells really good. So sometimes when I want to like scrunch the crunch, like for some of my crunchier combos, I use the Bread Hair Oil. This is the only oil I have in my stash. It smells like strawberry lip smackers. That's what they say on the website, but it does smell like... Let me see strawberry candy and i love that or for wash and goes where i'm like i don't know what's gonna happen when i refresh i like to use the ajua beauty blue tansy treatment serum only because the texture of this doesn't lend itself to frizz if i like run my hands through my hair with this yeah i'll get frizz but if i just like put it on gently this stuff gives me like no frizz and it's also a heat protectant so i like to put it on my hair in the summer I also use my, do I have it here? Yeah. I also use my um, Cantu Thermal Shield in the summer. So if it's like really hot outside, I'll put this on before I go out. So, flat. Um, I can feel the hold in my hair. There's nothing on my hands right now. I mean, I put lotion on, but there's not really anything on my hands right now. And I do have a black shirt on, so if you see any flakes, then we'll see them together. Um, my hair feels really good. It has like a hold, but it's not crunchy. My hair is so soft. The scent of the products together, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but the, I'm not, like not prepared at all. These products, as well as the deep conditioner, have a, like a clean lemon scent. Like if you just cleaned your bathroom with lemon scent and stuff, this, that's what this smells like. And the Mild Pomegranate and Honey Mousse is a delicious, sweet, fruity scent. So when they're paired together, they kind of tone each other down. And I'm left with this like strawberry lemonade scent and it is so yummy. It smells so freaking good. So I think, I mean, there's not too much going on with my hair and I don't really think I'm going anywhere today. I don't really think I need to put anything on so I'm just gonna delicately pick it real quick. Okay, so this is pretty much it. It looks really stinking good. Like it looks so good. And I can feel it when I touch my hair that there's a soft hold. Like I can pick my hair and not worry about it going frizzy. I can touch my hair without worrying about it being frizzy. 
but it's not crispy it's not crunchy this is exactly what i'm looking for from a wash and go and it's not like shrunk into my head it's um it's shrunk into a place where it just looks it just sits really nicely i wouldn't say it's elongated it's just a perfect medium i am actually really feeling this Pretty much it the only thing i do at night is i will just put my bonnet back on and that's how i refresh my hair in the morning i don't really do much um if i'm not talking it takes like five minutes maybe less um and then i go about my business oh i see some flaking on my shoulders but I don't know how much it's coming up on camera, which is a good thing, I think. The last time I did my this style, my shoulders were like white and I could see it on camera. So it's actually not that bad. Long It took forever, like an hour and a half or more. But I think that'll just get easier as my hair gets longer. But yeah, I love this. And I will come back when I have an update. So it is day three and my hair still looks really good. I've been refreshing with the Adro Beauty Blue Tansy Treatment Serum. I just put like a squirt on my fingertips and like move my hair around and then I'll pick it out. Um, I haven't been really doing my edges cause I'm not really going anywhere. And so I've been looking for a new job and I'm interviewing tomorrow for a job that is like kind of like the best fit for me. And I didn't know that I was going to have that interview this week and this is not my interview hair. Like I have like a way that I like my hair to look when I interview for things, when I like go out, stuff like that. Um, I love how my hair looks. It looks really, really, really good still. Like lots of definition. It's good. It's a little flaky. I don't know if you can see it on my sweater, but yeah, it has a little bit of flaking because I used so much cream, but honestly, this is one of my favorite cream combos because it looks like I used a gel. Like, look at this curl. Look at that. Oh my God, my hair is getting so long. Uh, anyway, I would let this rock for another two days if I didn't have an interview. And I kind of, well, I'm not upset that I have the interview, but under different circumstances, I would have loved to have this for like a five day wash and go because I know it can last that long. I haven't refreshed it. Um, and it just looks good. I, I mean, except for that, but I really like this wash and go. Fun fact, when I was a kid, like really, really young, like super young, like 12 or something, I used this hair growth shampoo that my mom had and I wanted to be fancy. So I did like this. To, to like swirl it on my hair and the cap was loose and a big glob of hair growth shampoo fell right here this spot on my hair since i was 12 grows faster than any other part of my hair and no i don't remember what shampoo it was but obviously it worked because this piece of hair is like right where that shampoo fell compared to like you know, the rest of my head. So yeah, um, I'm going to do my hair for my interview, but this has been a really awesome wash and go and I'm gonna keep doing it. Leave-in, I think I said it earlier in the video, but the leave-in has like the same texture as the Myel Pomegranate and Honey leave-in. But honestly, I feel like this has more moisture than it. I wish this had a better scent because in terms of like texture and moisture, it's very comparable to the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In, but it's like actually a little better. If the scent was better, this would actually replace that leave-in for me, but it doesn't smell that great. Um, just, you know, lemon cleaning product isn't really my scent. The Curl Enhancing Cream is incredible. I've technically used it three times and it's like, done um I'm, i think it's down here it's hard to tell because it has like really really thick 
packaging, but it feels almost empty. So I think I can get like four uses out of this for like $16. It's really expensive. Um, it's expensive for how many uses I get out of it. I have no problem buying this again, but there are other curl creams that I need to finish. This is actually going toe to toe with, what is it? The Eden Body Works Coco Shea Curl Enhancing Cream. That is the only curl cream that I have like permanently in my stash and this might replace it because it's that good. It's super good. And then, oops, the Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Mousse. It's just my favorite mousse. I love it so much. It's like down here now. Um, and I want to get more, but it's only $10. So I feel like I can wait until it's lower to get another one. But yeah, my hair looks good. Super soft, still pretty defined, like super defined. And I would just let it go for another few days, but I do have an interview. So yeah, let me know your thoughts below. And let me know if you're like, if you've ever seen these products before, or if you've used them before, please let me know your experience if you've used them before. I think these products came out in like 2022 and I've never heard anybody talk about them. So I will see you in the next one. And thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.